Hello guys, this is LEGO by 2 by 5 and I'm here with another LEGO review. This time I shall be reviewing the LEGO Scooby-Doo, the Mystery Machine set. This is set number 75902. This contains three, 301 pieces and it contains four minifigures including Scooby-Doo and this in this end up costing about $30 in the US. So let's just, this is the third installation of the Bricktober series of 2018 where I just review every single Scooby-Doo set so yeah let's get out the video review so here we have our four minifigures let's start off with Scooby-Doo this is the same minifigure that we saw in the Lego Scooby-Doo Mummy Museum Mummy Mayhem or Mummy Museum Mayhem I forgot what it was I'm sorry there is the black spots and he has his collar small screen collar I'm sorry if the video is gonna appear there. I don't. I don't have control of that. Then there is his collar and his shaking frown. Well, more like. And then there's his tail. It's a nice mold. Same one as we got in the first set of the Bricktober thing. And anyway, here is the the zombie. He has his glowing red eyes with some. A lot of wrinkles and a frowning frown. A moss green jacket with a with a very light bluish gray t shirt with black with brown pants. It's hard to see. Oh, maybe you can see it now. Ah, whatever you see, you see. Next up, we have our very first edition of Fred. Finally, a new minifigure besides Scooby, Shaggy, and the villain. And villain, villains, plural, whatever. So this is a nice minifigure mold. He's ha He has his ascot with his white shirt and the blue, and then he has his hairpiece, which is really nice. It's n it's nice for Fred. <clears throat> It really does match him well, and he does have a smiling face. He also has blue pants as well. But then, if you fr turn around, he has a he has a scared face. It's nice to have finally get to see Fred in this thing. Sorry, let's see him finally. Now, finally, we have <coughs> Shaggy. Here, it's the same type of minifigure that we got in, pri in prior Shaggies. He's got his hairpiece that we've always seen. He's his shaggy face with his shaggy short, short sleeve V neck shirt and his reddish brown pants with his little stubble. Then new doom headpiece, the other alternate piece, hairpiece, headpiece. He has a this point expression, just a, just a simple frown. Not like a, I'm scared frown, but it's nice to see some differentiation. Let's get on with the tree monster. He has his green little things there. Green little tree parts there, and he has his little arms that he can move around. Yeah, like that. He has a green plate. It's hard to see. I'm sorry that a lot of things that are brown are gonna look green. Gonna look black. You can kind of see it there. He has his glowing green eyes with his frown over there. Him yelling at some people. If you look on the back side of it, if you look closely, there we go. You see, it's showing the mystery machine. Sorry, it's and then a little control switch over there. I mean, there's a little gem inside there. There, you can see it better. <clears throat> Speaking of which, let's get on to the mystery machine. Finally, after a while, we finally got into the mystery machine. The, the big, the big MV, MM. The M, big MVP, whatever. <sighs> it's really, it really is nice, and it really does match the characteristics of the mystery machine, and I really like that. It's retro to the 60s, it's got the flowers on there, the green and the blues. It really matches perfectly with the thing. As in, I think if this is a new window piece. If it was an old piece, tell me in the comments below and what that zip was, if it was in their prior. A lot of orange, green, and blue, and blue 
which I really like. And the main thing is that you can go inside the back of it. He's inside it. And then move that off. I didn't want to do that. We'll lift this off. There we go. The nice thing is that you can open this up. You can open this up and you can see what's inside. There you can see that over there there is some sorry, there's some little evidence things pointing towards there is a big hand in the photo there and some things over there. This side you can see that there is a gravestone, some notes, and then this zombie. Over here you can see that there is that there is a little tracker station, there's a radio, a grill, over there is a flashlight, and over on this side, there is a camera. I don't know if you can see, well, it's right, it's right here, there's a camera right there. And over there is a, is a little sandwich, and a little sandwich in a washing station. And on this side, you can see that there is an alert thing. It shows that there's an alert. Okay, you can't see it really well, but it says danger alert and the picture of the zombie zombie. You can fit all the you can fit the if you end up putting Shaggy in here. If I move his arms. Here we go, you can put him in here. Then if you also sit down Fred. Also put him down here. You can end up putting him driving around. There we go. You can put them driving around the mystery machine. And also in the back here, there's some little holes. I don't know if you can see well. There you can see some white. It's where you can end up putting Gooby. If I just open this thing up a little bit. And then I can just fit. Sorry, this is very, very, very dark. I'm so sorry how dark this video is. I thought it'd be lighter. Okay. You can see right here that Scooby's in there. Then you can end up closing this thing up and then you can end up having to drive away. But the most important thing I almost forgot to show you guys, sorry, was the little tile that you normally end up getting in there. There, it's not perfect, but you can kind of see it. There we go. It says, the daily barber, tree comes to life with a picture of the tree monster and the zombie. I'm so sorry I ended up having this last. Usually, I, that's not what happens. So, yeah, I hope you liked this video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more. So let me in the comments below what you'd like to see next after, then, after this, and maybe before the next October thing I do, which would, should be the... Playhouse thing. Yeah, so I guess I'll, and in the back side of this thing, there is nothing much there. There's no headpiece because he doesn't have hair. So if you want to know that, nothing is there. So I hope you like this video and bye.